Millions of people in this country are receiving quality fire protection from firemen like Captain Clifford Reed. Captain Reed is not one of your typical firefighters. He's been with the Houston Fire Department for the past 16 years. And what makes him so unique is the way he handles a very dangerous job. I don't think I am different from other firefighters. I enjoy my job. I push myself to the limit as far as you can go without getting hurt. It's an exciting job. You've got to be part of it to understand it. Using his years of experience, Captain Reed has developed a protective hood, which greatly improves interior firefighting. The idea of the hood came about through trial and error of getting burnt on a path. The hood is an article that on the back that fits over your head, fits down around your neck, around the face piece, that enables you to aggressively attack, you know, make an interior attack without risking your neck area to burn the skin. And burns are something any fireman leaves himself open for to be an interior firefighter. Push your body through a lot of pain, a lot of stress, a lot of struggle. You can take a beat to be an interior fireman. You do all that just to the fire. Just to the fire. Interior firefighting means Captain Reed and his crew will go inside a burning building and look for trapped people along with putting out the fire. You know, interior attack takes a lot of heart, a lot of drive. It takes a lot more punishment to stand outside and squirt it. But you're giving the people inside, they have a chance, you're giving every possible chance you can so they'll be rescued. Being an interior firefighter like Captain Reed can be exciting, challenging, and even rewarding at times. But it can also be scary. Yes, I'm scared quite a bit. If I told you I wasn't scared, I'd be lying to you. If you're not afraid, you lose your edge because you're going to do something silly. It's going to cost you your life. You have to stay afraid of what's going to hurt you. As much as Captain Reed enjoys firefighting, he knows without the help of these guys, he couldn't do his job. A crew could be put up with just about any crew as far as ability and come out in the top. They trust me a lot. They, they follow me every place I go. I couldn't ask for a better crew. All the fires in the world aren't worth one of your crew's lives. Uh, you become very attached to these guys. They're like family. If I'm to lose one, and part of me would die. Because of the way he feels about his men and his job, Captain Reed is held in high regard by his crew and by other firemen that he's worked with through the years. He's the best captain I ever worked for in the fire department. I don't think there's anybody who likes to fight fire in the fire department more than he does. More than just a job to him. He really cares about what he does and wants to make it safer for everybody. He is especially well liked by an old crew member from Fire Station 35. When he finally got permanent on the pumper, it put an end to my firefighting career. Seeing as how he was closer to the hose bed, I very seldom got a chance to get to that nozzle first. And when I did, he would always find something to send me back to the pumper for. So Clifford Reed, we're glad you're gone. We get a chance to fight fire over here now. And I know the guys at 25 really hate you. <laughs> because of his dedication and devotion to the public he serves and to the fire department he loves, his reputation as an excellent firefighter is well deserved. It's a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. fire 2220 McGowan near Bastrop engine 7 engine 8 engine 25 ladder 7 and district 7 respond your life and property could someday be saved by a Houston firefighter but sometimes we take the fire department for granted so we decided to ride with Captain Beck and the B shift of fire station 7 and find out what it's like to be a Houston firefighter I don't think everyone could could be a firefighter and enjoy it. It takes a person that, that doesn't mind a challenge. Uh, it takes a person that is is willing to go into some places that uh, you may not may not return from. Their real work, their best work, goes on inside the burning building where no one sees them, where they have to crawl around in intense heat and thick smoke in search of victims. There's a certain amount of panic that comes every time you're in a dangerous situation. 
you feel your body says don't go but there's something else that, that just drives you on to accomplish the task that you set out to do. You know that there's nobody else going to do it if you don't do it. Being a firefighter is a very stressful and hazardous job. One minute you're at the fire station, and the next you could be in a smoke-filled, burning building. The hardest part of the job is never knowing when a call will come in. It's no wonder firefighters end up with more stress and health problems and injuries than any other job. We love our job so much that we kind of tend to play down the seriousness a lot of times of the injuries, but uh, if you are aggressive like this fire company is aggressive, you, you are going to get hurt. When the alarm comes in, whatever they are doing at whatever point of the day or night, they'll drop what they are doing. Fire Station 7's crew is very proud of their response time. They say they're generally on the scene of a fire within two to three minutes from the time the call comes in. On the average, the men on the B-shift work nine 24-hour shifts per month, and they're kept very busy even when they're not fighting fires. Everything is in constant readiness. The men are drilled on their new procedures and review established ones. They wash the trucks, clean up stairs and down, and Captain Beck has to take care of the paperwork for the day. Captain Beck feels he has the best possible crew. There's, there's a teamwork here that I've never seen anywhere else. I feel like that the men at Station 7 on this shift are some of the best firefighters that I've ever seen. For the men on the B-shift at Fire Station 7, firefighting is all they want to do. Even though the hours are long and the job is stressful and dangerous, they wouldn't trade places with anyone. It's just something that gets into your blood, I guess. Firefighters are men who do a most courageous job. They truly deserve the title of Houston's Bravest.